So we've got our project that we created in Blend open in Visual Studio now. And uh, the first thing we need to do is start creating our behavior. Now, uh, a lot of times in doing demos, uh, I tend to uh, uh, just create stuff at the root or at um, just, you know, to make the demos as simple as possible. Uh, I thought in this case at least I would kind of do a best practice as far as the directory structures. So uh, I would normally create a controls uh, folder and then uh, inside that create a number of folders like uh, like lookless or uh, uh, I might create something called UI elements or in this case uh, behaviors. Now, uh, when you create uh, a folder structure like that in any of the XAML environments, when you add, say, a class, which is what we're going to add, we'll go ahead and call this uh, uh, this class, which will be our behavior. We'll just call it my first behavior. Cs. Uh, the namespace is associated with that class will be based on that directory structure. So in this case, you can see that uh, the top of the application control dot controls dot lookless, which is exactly models what you have on disk with regard to the project structure. Now the first thing we need to do is uh, inherit from our base class, which I believe is tar targeted trigger action and now I need my uh, little greater less than framework element now uh, this isn't able to recognize this and what this means is we don't have that reference to that a library that you need to uh, be able to create behaviors now it's been pulled into the framework but it didn't used to be um, but now we just it's a matter of going through here and finding it I believe this is it And let's right click and see if we can resolve. No, was that not the right one? Oh, oh. Let's look at that again. Maybe it's off of Windows. System.windows. There we go. System.windows.interactivity. That's our uh, our library we need. So we should be able to resolve that. Yes. There we go. So now it's resolved. Now we can go ahead and start creating our class. Now the first thing we'll want to do is create a few properties. So we'll create, uh, let's see, private shape so this will allow this behavior to be associated with things like uh, rectangles, polygons, um, uh, ellipses, that sort of thing. And so we'll be able to have a reference to our uh, our element or the class will have a reference to whatever it's being associated with. Uh, but we'll need to make the class smart enough to wire this up. And then we will create a color brush. We'll call this color 1 and color 2. And we'll make this one. We'll go ahead and define it now. Uh, new solid color brush color dot oops it's not resolving that color dot 
get from args and we'll just pass in some zero values oops there we go so that should initialize our uh, second color and then what uh, this behavior will do will change between colors when it's clicked